But before we read, we need to sing our story song. Everyone get out their glasses. These are my glasses and this is my book. I put on my glasses and open up my book. And I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I put down my glasses and close up my book. Here we go. Rainforest Animal Adaptations by Lisa M. Stutes. Here's the table of contents. There are four different sections. Life in the forest, body coverings, body parts, and behavior. If I wanted to go to the index, what page should I go to? That's right, 32. And if I wanted to go all the way to the glossary, what page would I go to? 30. Here's the first section, life in the forest. Wow, look at those beautiful tall trees. Tropical rainforests are hot, steamy places. Most receive 100 inches of rain each year. Rainforest animals have special ways to stay safe, find food, and find mates. These ways are called adaptations. Here's the next section, body coverings. In the rainforest, light flickers through the trees. The jaguar spots help it hide in the shadowy leaves. Spots camouflage the cat as it hunts deer. This chameleon's leafy green color hides it from hungry birds. A fly may not see it either until it's too late. The lizard's long sticky tongue will shoot out. Goodbye, fly. The Malaysian orchid mantis mimics a flower. If an insect stops by for some dinner, surprise, the mantis will eat him for dinner instead. The rainforest is a giant place. Some rainforest animals use bright colors to help find each other. The rainbow feathers of a scarlet macaw attract a mate from far away. Sometimes bright colors mean danger. The golden poison dart frog is one of the deadliest animals in the world. The poison in one frog could kill 100 people. The poisonous Queen Alexandra's birdwing butterfly grows as big as a dinner plate. Poison from the vines it eats stays in its body. Its bright color warns birds to stay away. High in the treetops, the sloth hangs upside down by its claws. In fact, its hair grows upside down too. Rainwater runs right off. Here's the next section, body parts. Some animals have special bodies for traveling through the rainforest. A paradise tree snake can flatten its body like a ribbon. It glides from tree to tree. A harpy eagle's wings are short and broad. It easily twists and turns through trees, hunting monkeys. So that means that this harpy eagle is a predator. Geckos have tiny sticky hairs on their feet. These hairs help them hold onto wet, slippery branches and leaves. Small size helps mouse deer slip easily through brush on the forest floor. They are not much bigger than house cats. A spider monkey uses its tail as an extra arm. It swings from branch to branch. Wouldn't it be handy to have an extra arm? A green tree python wraps its tail around branches too. Then it can reach down to snatch a passing bird or mouse. It is hard to reach food high up in a tree. These animals pull off leaves and fruit with their long tongues. They can even lick their own eyelids. The toucan has a long beak. It can reach a lizard or piece of fruit far out on a branch. The last section, behavior. Many rainforest animals stick together. Gorillas live in family groups. They help each other protect their young. Millions of army ants march together on the rainforest floor. This army is small but fierce. It will attack anything in its path. Most cats hate water, but when the weather is hot, these tigers take a dip in a river. They are good swimmers. A capybara family stays cool in the water too. Capybaras can swim underwater for up to five minutes. They can even sleep in the water. Here's the glossary. And there's a list of words with their definition, starting with the word adaptation and ending with the word tropical. You know what adaptation is. Remember, an adaptation is a change a living thing goes through to better fit in with its environment. And here's another word, tropical, having to do with the hot and wet areas near the equator. So this rainforest has tropical climates. The last section is the index. 
If you only wanted to look up how colors affect rainforest animals, you can look at this section called colors and look, it's on four different pages, page eight, 10, 12, and 13. The colors of the animals must matter a lot for their adaptations in the rainforest. I hope you learned some new things about how animals adapt in the rainforest. Until next time, bye bye little birds.